<laughs> no, the clerk was probably there like, Get out of here! Get out of here! You don't belong here no more! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Alternative F1 podcast. And we are joined by a special guest. But before I introduce him, who you should know, if you don't know him, you've been living under a rock. How, 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 how are my co-hosts, um, Matt and Sam, how, how are you guys? I'm good, mate. I'm good. I, I feel like I finally accepted my fate and lockdown is lockdown and that's about it. <laughs> oh, sorry. There's been a truth. There's been a, uh, a a gradual like the optimism has has, has declined every week. Yeah, yeah so I'm. Just... <laughs> over here, fam. Trust me. <laughs> Troops. I did a house viewing today over Zoom. That's what my life has come to. Bro, it's... that's what I'm saying. Like, I'm, it's it's just it's done out here, blood. Like football behind closed doors. Like it's it's just mad right now, fam. It's it's crazy. So yeah, Matt, other, other than that, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Matt, how are you? How are you been? How you been doing, sir? Brother, I've been good. Like it's been um, yeah, it's been a crazy time, and there's been a lot of crazy news in F1. What a better way to figure it all out than getting troops involved? Because it's been a madness. He's already criticised. I've got the the, uh, the Vettel car rest in peace in the background. Exactly. It started. It started off so, already um, before pre-recording. So yeah, got, uh, you know, got to pay respect to our fallen, fallen soldiers. Got Alonso trying to come through, taking taking all the glory. He's like worming in. He's like a dodgy ex-boyfriend. He's sliding in. <laughs> he's coming in through. He's like, you know what? This is a war zone, and he's just gone straight through. Like yeah, but the thing out. is, the thing is though, he's fully downgraded. To Renault, let's be yeah. honest. Ugh. Right, so for, 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 so for for those who are who are listening on the podcast and you can't see who the hell we're talking about, um, this is he, if you don't know tro- troops, he's from Arsenal Fan TV originally, and he has his own platform. He's big time now. It's taken me a while to be able to get him on. Um, you know, I even I even had to get a, a, a solicitor's letter to be able to get him on and uh, go through his management, his agent, and so. <laughs> You know, it's uh, well, mate, have you seen the subscribers on his YouTube? He's got numbers see, now. Mate. I you know, no, yo, I, I, I had to subscribe as well. TV, and just mate, you got to subscribe, in it. I had to subscribe and comment on, on there as well, just so I can say, Hey, <laughs> I'm a big fan. It's always <laughs> did, uh, <laughs> did you guys see uh, Charlotte Clark girlfriend having to subscribe to his Twitch to ask him to open the door the other day, by the way? Yeah, I, th- I think everyone yeah. was checking out like what she like, looked like first yeah, of all. She got locked out of the house. She got locked out of the house, didn't she? So Charles she was had, doing his yeah. race and stuff, and, and then she, she had put to pay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so she had to subscribe to his Twitch to <laughs> message him to let him know that you need to let me in the house. <laughs> Madness. There's a, when you get big time celebrities like this, you have to do that. So you know, I I feel her pain. Troops, <laughs> sir, how are you? I'm good, man. You get me. Out there, you understand? Locked up. Shout out Styles P, you understand? It, <laughs> it's mad right now, you get me? Man's doing Yonkers life, you understand? Like, I'm looking like I've, got, I'm looking like I've just done a 15 stretch, you get me? Oh, I, no, well, I'm, I'm seeing that the beard is growing, and um, the, so is the hair. Yeah, the so, hair uh, So, so um, how's, how's it been, been for you? Blood, for me, yeah, it's just, you get me? Locked up with the kids, locked up with the wife. No football, no F1, no life, you understand? Like I'm just I'm just in here watching Boris with his foolish self. You get me <laughs> the okie koki telling man to go in out in out shake it all about you know, making like, things worse. Like, I, like you get me. Like it's just it's just it's Pete, bro. You understand? I'm surprised you haven't gone for the home haircut yet. Have you not dared to dip into that? Nah, 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 nah. You see me, yeah? No I trust. Like my, no trust. I like in that my house. hair. I like my hairline, black. You understand? Yeah. Nobody yeah. is taking that away from me. Black. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> I had to, I had to give it a give up on that one a little while ago, and uh, you, make the, you make the board work, blood. I can't picture myself bald, fam. Like, I might have to, I might have to get an app where, you, where I can see where I'm bald, blood. You just did, you just do it. It's like ball gang starting off. You get you, Sam, you know, get Matt to do it. You know, it's just like my you know. hair is my hair is getting higher and higher by the day. I'm just I'm trying to keep it tame, but at this point, I'm like, nah. Yeah, Dre, you should be doing. Sorry, Sandra. I should be. I'm gonna say, Dre should be doing what Ashley Young's doing, just sudden hair reappear. That's what he needs to do. How did that happen? I don't know. Uh, He paid paid for it. Do you think he's picked picked the right time? Do you think he's picked the right time? No one's gonna see me, so this is a transplant o'clock. Let's go. 
This is a time where you can actually try out all different things. And, you know, wives, girlfriends can't say anything because it's like, you know, because we're looking at them too. Their hair's going crazy too. So we can try out what we want. So next week, you're going to see me with little ponytails in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> and all that sort of things. So troops, right. So let's, let's go from the start. You know, obviously, you're a huge, 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 huge YouTube um, personality, sports personality. Um, you get invited to all the parties that I don't get invited to. And, um, you know, I'm just wondering if you could get me in at some, some other point. But we digress. Tell us, so let's got, start from the beginning. How, you know, for those who've been living under a rock, explain to them who you are and, you know, uh, about your channel and your career so far. Like, I'm just... When, when people ask like like who I am, I'm just me, fam. You get me? I, I'm just a I'm just a football fan. You understand? I just I, I give my opinion. You understand? And you get me? It's it's, it's just gone. Fiao, you understand? Like like it wasn't a plan. You understand? Like I, I was just here doing my thing. You get me? I saw Robbie. I, I said, Yo, I've had enough of Wenger. I'm gonna get my point out to the masses because I saw like. I saw Claude, you get me? I, I, like, cut, 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 because the madness is, like, I used to actually go up to AF, like, I used to go to games all the time. So mm. I'd actually go and watch them, like, doing their interviews. So I'd watch, like, Claude, Ty. Like, I was there for Bear of the Meltdowns, blood. You understand? Like, Bear of the Claude and Ty when it kicked off. I was so, you, there. so you wasn't actually part of it at, at you know, at the, at the very, very start. You joined nah, later on. Like, he started, like, like, they started it probably, I think Robbie and Tao, um, the cameraman, they started it up together in 2013. Mm. And then it cut, I started watching it from about maybe 2014, end of 20, it was 2014, 2015 season. That's when I started watching it. And then obviously I, was, obviously I used to go games. So I used to be like, rah, let, let, let me go see what these men are on. Like. And I go there and like, because football's like, football don't have like people like man, you understand, giving an opinion. So I just like stand there and watch it. But there's certain times I disagree with a lot of what, with a lot of what like certain people were saying. But mm -hmm. I was like, nah, if, if I go there now, it's going to be, a, oh, he, he's a gangster, he's, he's this, he's that, oh, look how he talks, he, this, that. So I used to just plot, you get me? And then it got to the point where, like, DT, sh sh like, shout out DT, he pulled out the banner at Holloway, you understand? Um, the, the FA Cup replay, beat them 4-0. And it was literally 8 and a half minutes with 4-0 up, and he pulled out the banner, you get me? So mm. that was to show people that, yo, even though we're winning 4-0, we still want change. Like we're not gonna jump. Like this is, this, this is the, the, uh, the winger out. Um, yeah, okay. yeah. So hit me. So, some people like were like, oh, when when he won, yeah, won us and winger. When he lost, winger out. We were win, lose or draw. We want him out. You understand? Okay. So then I, I, I went on AFTV. I, I had my say. Blood. The, the team just went like mad. And then I, people were saying like, make your own channel. We want to hear like your thoughts, like like previews. How would you set up the team? So mm. I was like, you know what, like, I don't even know what I'm doing, blood. Like, I, like, I'm not a technical guy, blood. You get me? I never grew up like that, blood. So Apple Mac and them ting there, I'm saying to myself, what's that? You understand? How does man even turn on this ting, blood? You get me? Now I'm doing zooms. I, I'm like, raw, blood. Like, the, You're the in the future. Come on. Like, it's, 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 it's mad, blood. And, and it's the power mm -hmm. of social media, fam. It's, it's crazy, bro, because I was just this. Like, for me, I'm still, I'm still that kid. You understand? Mm. For me, nothing's changed. It's just I can't. It's just like if I, if I go places, people might people might recognize. But like I, I, me, I'm, I'm just a football fan, blood. But you get me? It's it's just sky it's skyrocketed blood. But it's just blessings. You get me? I think that's a really interesting thing about you because I I've heard a lot about you for our, our good mutual friend, good old cheeky sport Joel. And I've heard you know he brings you up and so, and I've always said like, yo, what's this guy like? He said no, troops is is sound. And I think. What we've got to realize as well, if you put your name in YouTube, like you're doing bits, you know, you, you, you'll see you doing content on like even like Sky Sports' kind of pages and stuff. So the people that obviously live under a rock and like don't really follow football and are just here to follow the racing, they're going to actually realize that Troop, you know, he knows his stuff. So you don't discredit him just because he's got opinions. Hmm. Because even Joel, like, because that's how I kind of got into the YouTube team. I used to watch Cheeky Sport a lot. You get me? And because them and kind of like me. But like they're from South London, I'm from North West London. But we're from like the same kind of communities, you get me? So like I went to the FA Cup final when we beat Villa 4-0. And I was walking down Wembley Way and I see Joel doing his thing. And I was like, and the first thing I said to him, I said to him, yo, where's Dave? You get me? Because I know Dave's Man United. And at that point, Joel never put out that he was an Arsenal fan. He used to just like do the whole presenting. Uh... He never put out his team at that time. 
So I was just straight on, Dave, like, yo, where's Dave, blood? Man's talking about, you get me, we, we, we can't win trophies. You man are, you man got a qualify for Champions League. And then he was like, hey, bro, like, can you, like, yo, can you say that on camera? I said, I said, whatever, bro, like, you get me? He put the camera on me, I said, I sent for Dave. You get me? Then, like, I went home. <laughs> it's mad because I literally, I sent for Dave, yeah, I went home, yeah. Somehow, Joe's found me on Twitter, blood. You get me? And then he's, he's DM me, he's like, yo, like, when you go games, come, come link, man, da, 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 da. And then me and a built a relationship from there. And like, like big up Joe, blah, because Joe was the one that used to say to me all the time. He was like, yo, go, you need to go on, you need, you need to go on Arsenal Fan TV, like. You need to go. I used to be like, nah, blood, the way I am, fam, like, I'm just going to deal with you, man. You get me? You, you man, are my community. This thing, this thing works. You get me? Yeah. Dude, I want to get a TV, man, I, man, I hate it, man, I blood, fam, this, that. I'm like, raw, blood. Like, I, sh- I should have stayed on Cheeky Sport, blood. But then... <laughs> Real talk, man. Like, I was like, whoa, fam, I'm, I'm getting bare hate, blood. Like, what is this, fam? Like, I, I mean, I, you, you, you're making the papers as well now. You, you know, it was he, he, yeah, I, 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 for those who don't know, because um, uh, Troops has got really, like, you know, Big, big, big following. Obviously, you know he he connects really well with the with the players, and then um, obviously he became friends with like you know a few of them, but in particular um, Pierre Bamiang shouldn't be playing for you, playing for someone better. Mad, my brother. Yeah, are you mad? Shut up, like, don't listen, don't listen to this guy. Don't listen to him. But I yeah, uh, taste the glory again, and now he's up to it. Look, I, uh, look, I'm I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. You know, um, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> But um, yeah, so, uh, but uh, Troop obviously became friends with uh, Pierre Bamiang. I think you happen to be in his, 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 his. I mean, you can tell us in a second like, the, the story about when you went in his. Uh, you was in his, his uh, room or his uh, not room. What's my name? I'm making it seem something that it's not. Yeah, um, <laughs> no, no, you was you was in his box, uh, and and then and then the papers got hold of it. So tell tell us about that that particular story. Nah, literally, like, I got invited by um, a company called VBet. Shout out VBet. Um, they used to invite me to their box. You understand? Um, so they invited me a few times. I brought my son because, obviously, um, Laka was injured at the time. This is before the other situation. Laka was injured at the time. And then I said, I'd like, because, obviously, Laka follows me. Me and Laka are cool as well. So I said, like, yo, <clears throat> I'm bringing my son to the game. Like, like, can we link up? Like, are you going to the game? Can we link? He said, bro, no problem, man. Like, when, when you're on box level, just message me. And then when I found out, because he asked me, like, what box mine, like, because you know you got the box numbers, innit? Mm. He said, what box number are you? I told him mine. And he said, raw, you're, like, three away from me, blood. He says, so, yo, when you get there, just message me, innit? So when I got that message, Laka, Laka come, took a picture of my son. He had me, spoke to him. Maripano did the same thing. You understand? They was all showing him love, blood. You get me? I really appreciate that from the players, because I cussed them, innit? You get me? And that's why I respect Abba and Laka, because they, they said to me, like, yo, the reason why a man fucks with you is because, like, you're you're ruining it, like in it. If if we mm. if, if we ain't playing good, you're gonna say, yo, m- m- yo, you man ain't you man ain't on point right now, you know, dog. You need to pull yeah. out your trousers and start playing, like <laughs> you get me. I don't like this. It's, it's not because oh, I'm cool with Abba. I'm gonna be like, nah, he should, nah, like, like I back him when it's needed, innit? You get me. But otherwise, I just keep it real, innit? You get me. That's why I think we have that relationship there. So then, obviously, now we were playing. Um, I think it was a Europa League game, yeah, and he was in the squad. But he was going to watch the game. And he was supposed to give me his top when we beat Villa 3-2. That top was the top that I got. That was for my son. That was for Trey. Trey came that day as well. But we were waiting upstairs for him. But he was taking... Because because he scored the last minute um, free, free kick. Hella interviews, you get me? So yeah. by the time he's come up, they've already said to him, yo, we've got to leave the box. So when we've left now, he's messaged me. He's like, bro, I've got the top. Da, 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 da. He said, when we link up, we'll do it. I said, cool. So that game, I said, yo, boom, bring the top in it. We'll link up, give me the top. So then obviously the box that I'm in, his box is literally next door. You understand? Mm-hmm. Call it coincidence. You get me? So then obviously I'm watching the game. He's watching, he's next to me watching it. Me, him as operatives. We just watch every, like, it was cool. You understand? His, his sons are there, his wife, Willie was there, his brother, Catty was there, his dad. You understand? It's, it's like Laka's brothers are there. Bro, it's a vibe up there, blood. Like Mavra Panos' people are up there. It's, it's proper like, I felt like, raw, like these men are actually cool with man still. This is mad, like, you understand? <laughs> but obviously, full time now, there's other people up there who, who've seen Abra and they're like, raw, they want to get pictures, obviously, innit? So he just said to me, yo, come round, like, he said to me, yo, I'm going to go in my box, go in your box and come round, like, the main way and then come in and then we can take the picture and, like, eat the top. So I said, right, cool. So obviously, I've gone into my one, gone into his one now. His two veggies were in there with him. We were chatting for about maybe five minutes, tops. Yeah, he took the picture, cut. 
literally gone home. Like, I'm on my way home with Robbie. I've obviously, I've linked Robbie now. Then boom, me and like, Robbie dropped me home. Mm-hmm. So, like, I'm putting out the picture on my gram, like, yo, big up Abba. Like, my son's going to love this. Da-da-da-da. Next morning, I wake up here. Yeah? I said, whoa, blood. What is this, cuz? This thing just, they just spun it, fam. You understand, like? And then Ornstein, like, and, and big up Ornstein, blood, because he, he ran with a story, but then he realised that, yo, whoever told him that story was, was lying, blood. Mm-hmm. You understand? And then he... he he retracted what he said. When he saw Robbie, he was like, yo, tell Troops I apologise for that. Like, I should have asked you lot, yo, da, 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 is the story true? So obviously what they've tried to say is that, oh, people are, pe- people in the squad don't like how me and Abba are cool and da, 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 and da, 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 and then obviously, when that's happened, it was international break. So mm-hmm. when the stories come out, he's in the air going to Gabon. You understand? Gabon's a long flight, blood. We're, we're maybe talking 14 hour flight, blood. You understand? So he, he's in the air going Gabon now. Obviously the team's dropped. I've messaged him. I'm like, yo, bro, like, you get me? If, if, if that's how the players feel, then you get me. I appreciate you, you get me, sharing my love, but the club's the, the club is the star, you get me? We're going to have to stop talking because I want Arsenal to succeed, blood. If we have to stop talking, if that's, if, if, if this, if, if, if you, man, if what you, man, are saying is, I, I'm the reason why we, I'm the reason why we, we, we're in ninth. I'm the reason why we ain't want to leave Tats since 2004. Me? I'm the reason why we bottled it against um, Birmingham City in the, in the League Cup. You get me? I, I'm the reason why we, we bottled it in Baku. It's, it's all me, blood, isn't it? It's not the management. It's not the board. It's not some of the players. It's, it's little old troops from Graham Park, blood. You understand? Little old me, blood. You get me? So if, if, if what it takes is for, for us to stop talking, then cool. But then Abba, obviously, he's seen the message. He, he didn't even reply to me at the time, innit? He just put out the picture, blood. And he was like, I'll chat to who I want, when I want, where yeah. I want. Man ain't telling me nothing, blood. That's my guy. And then from then, like, you get me? I was like, I appreciate that, bro. You get me? So... If he left now, yeah, get me, fam. I'm, I'm in a predicament, blood, because he backed the thing, you get me? So it's like, boy, I can't even cuss him like how I would cuss him. Like, <laughs> like, you know what? Up. Now it's peak because now, like, he stood, like, you know, you know, you know like, let's be real, like, he's a footballer, isn't he? He's on, yeah. a, he's, on a, he's on over 100 grand a week, yeah? He, you understand? The media's coming at little old me, blood. He could have just sat in his yard and just said, you know what? Whatever. You get me? It's not my problem, but he come out and he took that heat off me. Yeah. He put heat on the people writing the story. <coughs> you understand? So I have, I have to appreciate him, blood. You get me? So after like, after all of that, like your your rise through uh, TV with uh, football and everything, how have you or how did you become an F1 fan? Where did you fall into it? Like I, I the guys know I'm no expert on football, so my my journey into Formula One was quite organic from a young age, as yours was probably with football. But did you do that with Formula One, or did you just randomly discover it one day and go, I like this? Nah, Formula One was was the same as football, blood. If it's um, it's the two things in my life are F1 and football, blood. They they get me. They're together, blood. You understand? It's it's part of my family, bro. Growing up as a kid, I used to watch Senna. You understand? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Car. You get me? I, I, I remember that crash, blood. You understand? There was two in that race, blood. You get me? I remember they crashed and then they started it again and then sent a crash, blood. You get me? I remember I sitting as a kid like me and my nan, God rest her soul, she was the one that got me into it. And I was like, nan, what's going on? She's like, I don't know. Da, 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 I don't know. Obviously, the sad news came out that he passed. But like my my young, like when, when I was a kid, like obviously people say Senna, my driver was Hakkinen. I love okay. the Hakkinen, blood. I loved him, yeah. blood. You understand? Because the way he went, I, I, I did not like Schumacher, blood. Like I said already, I, 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 either. Ferrari, I, so I don't like Schumacher. <laughs> Underdogs, isn't it? Yeah, like, get me. Like, he's, he's a legend, blood. Yeah. But I, I was not a Schumacher fan, blood. I was, whoever was against him, I was with them, blood. I was I with was Jack Villeneuve cool. when he was at Williams. Then when he fell off, I went to Hackenham. Then when Hackenham fell off, I went to Juan Pablo Montoya. And when Montoya fell off, <laughs> I went to, I just kept jumping. And then I went to Hamilton. And then, because my second name's Hamilton. So then from Hamilton came in, I just said, that's it, blood. Wherever you go, it's me and you, blood. You understand? Me and you is yeah. one dog. You understand? But, I, was a, I, I was a Damon Hill fan, if I'm honest. But that's because he, he, his dad used to race for a team from the town that I'm from. So that, that's, okay. and I liked, I liked his helmet as well. So I, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that, uh, like, obviously, with Senna, that and it like terrible crash, and and watching all the way through, and, and now with Lewis Hamilton, how would have, have you continued watching it as much as you did when you were a kid, or has is, is football consumed your life, or are you now kind of balancing it? Nice, like, obviously we know you do the watch alongs on your YouTube channel, which are hilarious. Um, but do you do you watch do you watch it as much as you did with football or when you were a kid? Yeah, I do, man. Like I'm there, like quality one, quality two, quality three. I'm watching. I don't watch practice one or two, but I watch practice three. 
because that's when you kind of get the you kind of that, that's when you kind of find out all right cool who's going to go up at it, who, like what's what's going to really go down in qualifying so like when i'm on to like if, if i'm like I'll, i'm the kind of guy that i'll wake up five in the morning with the japanese grand people yeah I'm, baby, like, I'm, I'm that guy you understand i'm there sleeping my eyes blood you understand i'm there watching it blood you understand because f1 is f1's my thing bro and like when, when when football went my first thought was i'm cool F1 still there, blood. I'm all right, fam. And then when F1 went, I was like, oh my days, blood. What am I going to do, fam? You understand? Because well, it, so why did you start doing the, like, the watch-alongs? What, like, what made you think, I'm going to sit on my sofa and I'm going to like, narrate an F1 race to people that are watching? By me, the like. way, cracking or trying to commentary. Like, when Dr. Dre did UFC, it's like on that level. Like, it's so <laughs> funny. So funny. Because you know, you know what, yeah? Like, it was my mum, you know. My mum was like, people don't know. Like, because you know what it is as well? When F1's on, yeah, I'll tweet. And then people are like, oh, this guy's just back in Hamilton because he's a winner. Like, da, 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 da. I'm like, brother, I was in Hamilton, yeah, at McLaren when things were going meow, yeah? And when he made the jump and people were like, why are you jumping? Why are you jumping? Mercedes are not all that, you understand? But Nicky Lauda already told him, yo, we've got this plan in place, you understand? Ross Braun was there. Schumacher was there, you understand? They, he knew what was going on. You know when you get a sense of a feeling as a racing, you know as a racing driver, like, when, when you make the move, like, you know, Hamilton knew, like, you understand, like... I'm that just, move was so, like, unprecedented as well, because they... I, I can't remember where they finished on the table, but the year... He moved, uh, like, a year after Schumacher left, mm-hmm. and Schumacher was finishing, like, sixth, seventh, and then Lewis Hamilton, from a world champion, mm-hmm. went to a team. That's nuts. I will say the, the commentary of the uh, US Grand Prix, where Seb lost his uh, suspension. Oh, God, <laughs> like, I loved it, man! That was, oh, that was hilarious. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's like, oh, he's gone, he's gone, he's gone. I was like, oh, God. <laughs> he's gone, blood. Oh, let's see ya. Here he How is rolling down the ring? Yo, dog. I didn't the- think I've ever seen so much excitement in a suspension failure ever. Man, you don't understand, like, when he, you see when he hit him in Baku, yeah? Bro, I went mad. I went mad. Like, I could have picked up my TV and threw it out the window, like. I was like, how dare you? How dare you? Because people... I don't know why, yeah, but me personally, yeah, I personally think the only driver that can go against Lewis if you put him in the same car, yeah, is Max. Max, for me, is Fair the point. only one who can put him on ropes if you put him in a Benz. For me, if you put, like, like when Vettel was, said he was cutting, I was like, bro, if he goes, I said, I guarantee he don't go 50 because he knows he will get his ass whooped at Mercedes by Lewis Blood. He will get whooped Blood. Nobody wants to be Lewis's partner, blood. Because, man, no, you're number two, blood. Even if you go in there and they say, yeah, level play, yeah, level play and field, da, da, da. the power of that, brother, you'll just get that. Get- I, I've got a, um, I've got just to, just to, just to chip in, because, you know, I, I always have to disagree with troops anyway. Um, <laughs> but, <laughs> every time. Every time. Um, <laughs> the devil's advocate. But my, my thinking is this is that there, there's a school of thought, not me, because I don't want to get banned from, from Mercedes garages or anything like that. I like the hospitality, but yeah. I, <laughs> I can't go back. Fair, blood. You need I can't go back. Me, blood. I can't. I can't go back into the stands. I, I can't. I won't. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so what I was thinking is this: is that there's a school of thought that I think that that some of the fans w- with will hope are hoping for you know for obviously to grow the sport for Vettel to be able to get the second seat because people like me find Bottas boring. Sorry, he, it, it he just is. is. Yes. Right, so therefore, for the actual sport, isn't it better for Vettel to be able to be put into that team if if, if they can afford him? And then two, I there's a, there's a, the school of thought I was speaking about before is is that Hamilton's not going to be comfortable with Vettel joining because that might ruin his championship season. What do you think about that? I don't. Me personally, <clears throat> I don't think I don't think Hamilton cares. I don't think he cares who's in the car next to him, blood. Because I think he knows the ability he has. And when it comes to crunch time, he, his mentality is different, blood. You understand? What he went through to get where he is, yeah? He's not going to let it go lightly. He's mm. going to fight to the death. He's got that Senna mentality, blood. When I look at, like, when I look at um, Vettel and Hamilton, the way I do it is, I'm like, you see Hamilton? That's Senna. You see Vettel? That's Prost. Yeah, yeah. He's more technical. He's more. He's 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 he's, he's, he's more brainy. Hmm. He's like Hamilton's like, yo, there's a gap. Ooh, I'm going through yeah, that. Yeah. You know, I'm in there, blood. He's more. You know, 
for me, Hamilton's more of a driver mm. because he'll take the most risk, blood. You understand? Yeah. He will take the risk on the last lap in the last corner. He's taking that risk. Vettel will be like, I don't know, I don't know. And then the thing is that for me, Vettel, he's been making hella mistakes. Mm. Yeah? Hella. Not just in qualifying, in racing, blood. Like, mm. he'll, he'll, he'll be clear, he'll spin mm. randomly. Like, it, yeah. for me, he can't handle pressure no more. And I think that when he goes into, if he gets put into a Mercedes, the pressure's on you now, blood. Because you got the reliability, you got the speed, you got the you got the um the mechanics, you mm. got everything now, blood. You got no excuses now, bro. Everything's in everything that you've been saying, oh Ferrari ain't got this, Ferrari ain't got that, da 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 da. They're showing Charles more love. Da 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 da. It's like look at Charles. Charles has gone there and he's badded him up, blood. Yeah, you understand? Yeah. God rest his soul, that would have been Bianchi. That would have been yeah. Jules, blood. I'm telling you, that God rest, that would have been Jules. Because Jules, he, he, you, you saw it in him as well, blood. He had that, you understand? He had the Hamilton in him, like it's like Rosberg. You understand? Like when he like for me, Rosberg, when he won it, yeah, for me it was like they, like it was just for me it was a setup. I don't care. The way what? he won it, like nah, the, I, I agree. The amount of times, the amount of times like Hamilton's Rosberg. car failed, like he was clear in what race was it again? He was miles, and then it just broke. I said, Walla, what's this? I said, these man, and then Rosberg comes up. Oh, I'm retiring. You see, to Toto and their man, they knew. Like, I love Mercedes, yeah. But Toto and their man, they knew, yeah, they were like, you know what, he's going. We have to give him one. We have to give him at least one. You understand? He, he's, 100%. A lot. he's been a look great. At look at this. This is this is pure hundred percent hardcore fandom. This is the thing is, I, I completely agree because Rosberg only won that championship because Hamilton didn't. That's they, that, there's no other there's no other way Rosberg. He's a good driver. I'm not going to go out there and say he's not. And I like I like him as a person, but that was like Lewis's, and he still is in them. It's like his premier years, and yes. it's only because Lewis had a series of mechanical failures. He had Rosberg cut him off on certain tracks. Bro, like, you see, when you said Rosberg was a nice person, I was kind of, I bit my tongue blood, you understand? Because I remember, I remember them spa behaviors. I remember yeah, them yeah, yeah. spa and I was like, and before that, yeah, like I remember the battle in, um, was it Bahrain? Bahrain when he cut him off. And, um, and, and when, when they were going back and forth, like Hamilton yeah. would go in front and Rosie would yeah. go in front and then Hamilton finally won the race. And then Rosberg, like, would, you know Rosberg like, would go on the radio like and the, say... I like the way they're battling, like, I like the, and, and the, the fairness that was shown, you understand? Like, give, give, the man, give the man room, you understand? Make sure there's space. And then when, when Spa came, me and my mum watching that race, blood, me and my mum said, voila, I want this. I want this. I want this blood card, <laughs> And then that's when I said, no, 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 no. You know what? He... He knew in his heart, yeah, that mm. he can't clash Hamilton blood. There's, like I say, the only man that I think Hamilton looks at and he's like, yeah, yeah, I, got, I can't rap with you. And that's Max blood. Because you even see in the Red Bull, the pressure Max puts on him blood. You understand? If you put Max into that Mercedes, and Max is a confident driver. When he gets the lead, he's gone. He don't bottle it. He don't make mistakes blood. You understand? I think there's another, there's another person in the mix as well. Um, yeah, I think these guys know what I'm going to say. But it's, uh, I, I think personally, Charles Leclerc is the person who, who, who he doesn't do as much talking as, as Verstappen because Verstappen's always coming at, you know, um, Hamilton in, in interviews and stuff like that. I, don't, I, I think personally, if you look at who Hamilton goes to really quickly, it's always he's trying to befriend um, uh, Charles Leclerc because one, I think he thinks he's cool and he just wants to be down. And then two, I think that there's a genuine, if you look at like, the progression is, is something for him to work to look at. Just just quickly, I just want to find out this. You know, obviously, you know, regarding footballers, obviously they've got like a, a they're, they're really really influential with with youngsters, you know, in, in the UK. Do you feel that that Hamilton is as influential to them, to, you know, to regular regular people, uh, football fans or so forth, to for them to be able to watch the sport? If not, why? I think he is influential, blood. You understand? Because when you see what he's doing, he's dominating motorsport, blood. You understand? Like, he's the first black driver. You get me? He's the first yeah. black world champion. Yeah. yeah. He's he's got one more, and he's equal Schumacher. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> let's let's be real now, yeah. You understand? He's a little boy from he's a little kid from Stevenage, blood. He's not yeah. from London, bro. He's not from the big city with the big lights, blood. He's from countryside. Yeah. yeah? And he and, and he made it, blood. You understand? For me, I think that because he lives in Monaco. And it's the whole tax thing. The media, like, for me, Hamilton don't get love from the media. Like, for his accomplishments, right. he don't get love. Like, for me, I don't care how old he is, yeah? He should be Sir Lewis Hamilton. Blah. 
Mm. He should be... What he has done in F1, yeah, for Great Britain, yeah? yeah? He will go down as our greatest driver ever, yeah? Okay. There will be blood. If he beats... Do you think like, race plays into that as well? I do. I do a lot, blood. I do, because when you look at Formula One, it is that. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, yeah. it's not that, innit? You get me? When, when, when he, even when he got in, man were like, raw, swear, mm. swear down, what? I thought I, I thought I was bugging out, blood. You understand? I thought my TV lost color and everyone turned black and white. You understand? <laughs> I had to retune my thing and say, yo, blood, raw, swear down. But like, I mean, I, I think there's, there's things that he's actually done that, no, I'm not, I haven't got an allegiance to one particular team, as you, you know, as you'll see, like I'm always wearing everyone's. Um, colours but what it, I would say is that Hamilton definitely got me involved in it and then also to another thing that I think he changed is the number two driver that you know he ruined that whole thing because obviously Alonso couldn't take that he was like what, what are you supposed to be what are you doing like get back you know and I think that he changed that so I think he's done a lot but I, you know it's just interesting obviously because I obviously watch your, your channel especially on Instagram, you're a big, big, big F1 fan. And I don't think people really realise that. I think they just think you talk about it because nothing else is on. But like, I think sometimes there's, there's maybe choices between, you know, uh, Aston Villa versus whoever. Mm, should I watch that or should I watch F1? Yeah, I think you would always choose the F1. But, but is, it, is that purely because Hamilton got you involved, it, it, you know, with that type of influence that he had? Nah, because I think I was involved before Hamilton. So you're saying, nah, yeah. I just think that Hamilton is the, I think he's the driver that I've followed the longest. Yeah. Time? Because like, Villeneuve was, Villeneuve was about two years. Yep. Hakkinen was about three. Yeah. Montoya was about two, three. You understand? And then it was like, I kind of like Raikkonen. And when he went Ferrari, <laughs> I said, nah, bun you. <laughs> you know, you know, you know, because Formula One went through a, a patch of of where it became, you know, not of really appealing, definitely to people of color, you know. And obviously, I think that he may have dragged in new people. Obviously, he was a yeah, fan like, before, jumping TV. but definitely for me, I've never even thought about watching it before. Like me, but like I always, I always found it interesting. Like, I like cars. You get me? I like speed. You understand? And like seeing like the competitiveness. Of mm -hmm. like two cars going into a corner so yeah. tight, yeah, and they're breezing at like 180 into the corner, blah. And then mm. they're, they're stopping to like 60 miles per hour within three seconds. I'm like, whoa, how are they? And the way like they're going around corners at speed, you understand? Like watching Monaco as a kid, I was like, how are these men driving on the on, on the road? Like, mm. how do they how do they build the track on the road? Like, do they stop the road like for, for, like, for like a what, what is going on? Like it was like even like watching the Australian Grand Prix before it moved to Melbourne, mm. it was at Adelaide and it was a street circuit there. I yeah. was always like, blood, what is going on? You understand? <coughs> like, there were certain tracks that always had me like, bro, like, Spa was another one. Because I was like, why is it only 44 laps? Like, I don't care if it's two minutes. Why is, why, why is the race so short? The race should be longer. Like, I, there, like there was always something with me that would, that would always make me be like, nah, nah, nah. That, and, and I've always been invested in F1. And it's only like recently that people are realising that, yo, I, I know my F1. Like, mm. I know my football. Like, you can sit me down with F1, man. And then we look at it and they'll be like, Rod, this guy actually knows what he's talking about. Do you, do you feel, just, just quickly, just, just one last bit for me. Um, uh, do you feel that F1 should actually be doing more to be able to get people, you know, like yourselves, myself and so forth, you know, people from different backgrounds involved in the sport? What, what more can they do? I think, like, you see, like, the way, the way football is now, where you'll have, like, um, people taking over the Liverpool snaps at... Um, the, uh, the Liverpool Snapchat story for a day or the Arsenal Snapchat story for a day. <laughs> Stuff like that. Like they need to get like people that like they that people that they think are influential to maybe jump on their social media for a day and then see if they can like because obviously you'll be on your socials like yo obviously I'm going on to the Mercedes social today. I'm going mm -hmm. to Silverstone. Obviously these man have said that yo I can run around with the team. You get me so I'm gonna show you man some exclusive footage. People will obviously Draw to that. And then when they see a man show them backstage and them thing there, and because it's the way man is, and man's talking, I'm keeping them, like, interested, yeah. keeping them involved. I'm like, brother, look at the size of them wheels, blood. Are you mad? Like, look how fucking it's up the car. Like, the car's gone already, blood. The car's gone again. Raw, hey, he's back again, blood. Like, get me. People will be like, raw. And I think that's why, like, earlier, you lot said, like, when you, when, when you was watching the watch along, and, like, the way I started bugging out when, when uh, Vettel's um, suspension went bust, you understand? It's, yeah. it's, it's a different type of 
Yeah, different type of excitement. You understand? Yeah. Because yeah. some man might sit there and watch like Johnny Herbert and Damon Hill and, and Crofty and be like, nah, you man are boring, blood. You understand? Whereas I sit there and I watch them, I'm like, nah, these man are cracking me up, blood. You understand? Because I watch Herbert and, and Hill as, as youngsters driving, yeah. racing, you understand? So seeing them give their so seeing them give their point of view, I'm like, yo, I'm interested in it. But but, but that's because I've been in it from young. If you're if you've just turned on the TV and you see Johnny Herbert and Damon Hill running around um, Texas with, with the cowboy hats and doing madness on the thing, yeah, you'll look and be like, brother, why go for these man? I'm not watching this blood. You know I mean? You you don't feel like you're like like, like, like you can't relate to it. You understand? Mm. Like you, like you can't look on it straight away and relate to it. Whereas football, like, you could turn on Sky Sports and you might see me on it. You might see Expressions on it. You might see Robbie on it. You might see Flex on it. You might see Goldbridge on it. You, like, you might see Joel on it. Like, there's so much, like, you understand? Big yeah, yeah. was on it. Like, it's, it's crazy, bro. You get me? I think if F1 started doing that, then I think that you could... You get me? Like, they're doing it. Like, I've seen recently they've been doing it, but they ain't giving me no invite, blood. You understand? Oh, right. Wait, Dre, 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 you got a case blood, of that. No, he ain't getting one over me, Dre, so uh, so, so that's the end of that. There, can, there can only be one of us troops. We can share, fam. What do you mean, man? No, I'm not Dre. I'm even tired. That's why I met Dre. We met, me and Dre met a silver star, and I went out with Dave Alorca. Dave, I was filming with Dave. Met Dre there, and I feel like that, it's such an important step in one with content, but also two with diversity. Because that's one thing when we did an uh, interview with um, Lewis Hamilton, like he went off script a little bit. We said, is there any diversity in F1? Ooh, we couldn't use the answer because he got heated. And it went right really so because he passionately cares about it. And I think that what links so nicely to what you've said about him. Some people will look at Lewis and say, mm, I don't think he's got as much pull as a footballer. But actually, he's a guy that passionately wants more diversity win F1. So respect to Lewis. He's, I think he's a, tr he's a true champ. He's a proper example of a champion. And, you know, look, more power to him. We need more guys like him. But for now, we got, we got, a, I've got a little game I want to play with you troops because, you know, we, we've got our links to football. We've got our links to F1. So who do you think as an F1 team is most like Arsenal? Oui. Oui. Here we go. Williams. It could be current, it could be previous, but you know, wow. have some glory, have some downtimes, have kind of started coming back up. You know what? We're like, we're like McLaren. Bang on. Thank we're you like very McLaren much. blood. Because Bang McLaren, on. like they had like Hackenden with his two, Hamilton with his one, and then boop! <laughs> boop! <laughs> Doing the Pepe blood. Yo, Wagwa wild, wild, man, then. You understand? <laughs> it's fair, Don. Like you see, like great drivers like Alonso. You understand? Come and, and you can't do nothing, blood. You're there like, bro, what's going on? Like, I'm sitting there, I've seen great players come from like Henri left, like Van Persie, Bamiyan, Fabregas. Like, we're, we're, we're talking great players, blood, but we, we can't get back to that great level, like where we were the top. Like for me, Liverpool, I would say Liverpool are like, Liverpool are like... I knew, I knew this. I knew this was coming. <laughs> let me think. Let me think. Liverpool's difficult because... Like Mercedes. That's what we're like. Nah, you're not like Mercedes. You're nothing like Mercedes, blood. Ferrari. You are nothing. Mercedes. Mercedes is like Man City, blood. Yeah? Came out of nowhere just... Do -do 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 you know what I mean? Just... Clean up. What about saying that... Yeah? What about saying that like Liverpool are like Minardi? I, they're no longer here anymore. Whoa, Even that, you understand? Know <laughs> no, I, I'm sorry, people. I did, the next, <laughs> within the next, the next, next Stewart's team. Within the next couple of weeks, then uh, you'll see me presenting the uh, F1 show with the Premier League trophy behind me. But you know, I digress. We're, we're... <laughs> so who, 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 yeah. So who, who's your team? Who's, who's, who's the same McLaren? Yeah. McLaren. All right, then let's 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 see this troop. So. Racers and footballers. Which race? I'm going to give you a list of Arsenal football, a few names from Arsenal, and I want you to give me what F1 driver is most like this Arsenal player. So let's kick it off. What current? It could be current. It could be past. F1 driver is most like Lacazette. Here we go. The brain's working. It's, it's doing things. Eddie Irvine. Eddie Irvine. Why is that? Because remember how Eddie Irvine used to always think he was cool, like, he'd be like, oh, you all right, lad? Oh, you all right, lad? Oh, yeah, Michael Schumacher's number two, lad. Hey, look at my sunglasses, lad. Oh, yeah, lad, he's doing his hair gel back, always chewing gum, lad. 
So I'm B Tech Sir Alex, man. You understand? B Tech, B Tech. <laughs> Like, like, I know he's Irish and everything there, but he's a B-Tech, so yeah. I, you get me? That's yeah, man, I, I'd say Lacazette's like, um, yeah, I'd, I'd say Eddie Irvine, blood. Like that. Well, look, let's just see exactly. See, Dre, this is what F1 needs. So we need to like strip it back. No more yep. PC level. We need to bring it back on. Okay, I'll raise another one. That's what we need. Exactly. I'll bring it to another name. Which F1 driver currently or past is most like a Bamiyan? Come on. Why? Why would you look? See, I'm this on. is this is where this is I'm this is where the delusion what's delusion wrong? comes in. Hamilton. You know, this is look it. At Hamilton. Look at Hamilton's style. Look at Aubameyang's style, blood. They're both like number one at what they do, like G O A T. You understand? But my blood clot, Yang Lewis, blood clot, Hamilton. You understand? Like, come on, G. These managers, winners, looking fly, like beautiful women. You understand? <laughs> you already know my thing. You get me? Like, come on, bro. Are you mad? Like Lewis is like blood. Both their hairstyles are certain time. Both their hairstyles are certain time. Dodgy, you get me. So yeah, like, but let's be real. Let's be real. Like if I saw him, I'd say, "Hey, brother, certain time you do some booky hairstyles." You know, I'm sitting there like, "Hey, brother, reply, read my DM, blood." I, I like blood. This hairstyle ain't cool, bro. <laughs> like, Love that. This hairstyle ain't cool, bro. <laughs> T- you see if I walk Hamilton, yeah, he'll be like, I do, nah, 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 you know what, yeah, I'm giving you a contract, I need you with me every day, blood. You know like, <laughs> you know I'm telling you, bro, I will crack him up, blood, you understand? I'm you, you'll forget about Nicholas, blood, you'll be like, Nick who, blood, are you mad? I do, where are you, blood? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, are you mad, I've got, I've got two more I'm names, I've got two oh more names to God. run for your troops. What about Mazza Ozil? Oh, Lord. Oh lordy lord! Did you know what? Yeah, Ozil was a Ozil's like Raikkonen. Ozil's like Kimi blood. Was good. They both got that arrogantness about them, yeah. but they but they but you but, and, but they still show like bang. I show you now, yeah. Raikkonen was bad back in the day, yeah. Mm. yeah. Ozil was bad back in the day, yeah. They're both arrogant. They both think they're number one. They both mm. think their shit don't stink, yeah. And they both show glimpses of greatness now and again. I like both that. Like, you understand? No, that's like, you know what? I, I feel that. I say, like, having been around Kimi Raikkonen, I think you, that is an, I'll, I'll take that as an acceptable answer. But I've got one more for you troops to run through before we move on. So who, who currently in F1, all past, is most like Mustafi? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, this is, I built up to this. You see what I did? I went through the, the A level and then, yeah, we're here. Mm. I know, it's, it's, a, it's, it's not a, a, a diverse figure for football fans and F1 fans that might not know about Scrad and Mustafi, but. Uh, Rojo, yeah. gotta be. Oh. Mustafi's like. That's not bad, Rojo. right? You know? Rojo's not like bad, bad yeah. Always, always an accident in him, always. Yeah. Yeah, Grosjean. But <laughs> sorry, oh, yeah. I was sitting there and I'm thinking, who is that clown that always crashes every minute? Blood? Yeah. What is his name? Oh, we're going to get, get banned from all of these teams. Yeah, no. <laughs> every minute. Like, he, and he's really crashing bad. into his teammate. I remember when he lick off Raikkonen and I was like, oh my God, blood. But this is like, true oh, because but this is what happens like in Arsenal matches. If Mustafi plays, he is trending. If he starts, he's trending. Grosjean does the slightest thing wrong, he's trending. Mm-hmm. Yep. This is mm-hmm. what happens. So but you know also, what? Also, when he's great, when Grosjean is great, no one really takes notice. And same as Mustafa. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. He's a German no, international. Exactly. We forget. You know, we yeah. forget. I was watching. I was that. watching the uh, European Grand Prix, the replay the other day, and I forgot that Grosjean was second and was almost about to lead the race until his engine failed. No one was like, "Oh, Grosjean's actually pretty good." They were like, "Oh, good job, and Alonso won, isn't it?" I'm yeah, like, <laughs> it's like literally guy. forget that Mustafi played like most games in the World Cup when Germany won the World Cup. Like, it's crazy, bro. World it's champion it Grosjean, it's coming. If Jensen Button did it, Grosjean can do it. No, nah, yeah, but boy. Button had a decent car and a right. good yeah, yeah, the only decent car. But I do yeah. like Jensen Button. He's a yeah, really I like good Button. I like Jensen. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He seems like a very cool, he seems like a cool brother, blood. Literally, what you see is what you get. Like, yeah, he's literally he, he that. He seems like, yeah, he's the kind of man you can go down the pub with, blood. He seems like one of them, man. There. 100%. So, Troops, my question now. So, you're a Londoner through and through. You say you're a <laughs> North Londoner. There was, there was rumours that F1 was going to hold a race in London. 
my first question is, what do you think of that? My second question is, where in London and the, within the M25 would you do it? Where would you host it? Central, Walthamstow, Peckham, Greenwich, Arsenal? I'll take a Peckham race. That'd be amazing. I mean, I'd take a Peckham race any day of the week. <laughs> Mate, you wouldn't even have a pit lane. It would just be, <laughs> just be a bunch of garages of people coming in and dropping off new tyres. I love that. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> You know what, yeah? When they said that there was um, going to be a Grand Prix in London, I was so gassed for it, bro. Because that's when I think people, I think the younger generation will start taking more notice of it, blood. Because if you get the chance to see a supercar flying around your town, blood, yep. like, driven by one of the best drivers in the world, fam, you're going to take the opportunity, blood. You understand? For me, if they did it, they'd have to do it in, like, Central. So, like, you see, like, um, Embankment, that could yeah, be, yeah, yeah. you could do, like, the pit straight there. Yeah. It's a long straight. You get me? You could put DRS there as well. You understand? Oh, down, down the, uh, oh, you down understand? The under the bridge. And then you under, come, under, and, like, yeah. you come back up the mile and then like up towards Buckingham Palace. Do a little DRS yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then like you could go like, you know, Buckingham, they got them little bits that go like, yeah. kind of like Monaco. <laughs> <laughs> do a hairpin <laughs> turn. <laughs> hairpin turn like Miami and come back through I'm the mile around to like, Farrell Square. Yeah, I get that. Like, I think it, like, because people could watch it from their houses. People could watch it from work. Which is the houses? Who lives around that area that's got people, that? I mean, there's... I mean, they've got money. <laughs> yeah, you understand? People that live on top of... Remember, it's going to be going past shops. So yeah, some true. of the shops, there's like, there's like flats on top of the shops. You understand? Yeah, like, I think, it, I, I think it would be sick, bro. I definitely feel like it's got to go over one of the bridges. I feel like Westminster Bridge up down Embankment would be a great bridge to go over as well. Yeah, like you bring it, like you, you, it goes over there and then you come over, you come over like, come over the... Um, you come over Waterloo Bridge because if you come over Waterloo Bridge, you can see the London Eye on the left hand yeah, side. Yeah, point. And then point. you take the left onto the onto the embankment and you form up to Big Ben. You understand? Know I mean, oh, I yeah. agree. I'm a little bit gutted that you took Peckham out of the running. Because <laughs> <laughs> what's come better? On, yeah. Hang on. No, but yeah. hold on. What's, what's some self interest? There's just some self interest. Yeah, there yeah. is because there's nothing better than a, a pit straight that smells of fish. Like, let's be honest, that would be insane. It'd be interesting to see when, when Formula E does their um, the London Docklands race. That would be interesting to see how they can hold that down because, bless, bless the XL Centre, that's had more facial changes than Simon Cowell because it's a hospital, it's an exhibition centre, <laughs> held the Olympics. It's <laughs> it's, it's good, it was going to have a Formula E race. It's, like, it's done everything. It's done, it's done too many things. So it would be really interesting to see how if Formula E can nail that, then it's going to be really interesting. It hopefully will open up the door for, you know, sport. It's a London street race. We want that. It'd be dramatic. 100%. So talking about getting, as you said, like that London race will get young people involved. And as you've already said, F1 should shift up its content to get, you know, people of colour involved and different you know, fan bases behind. Like just shift up the content to get people interested in the sport. F1 doesn't currently have a format or a platform like AFTV, right? Do you think, obviously they can't go to, every game or race like you can with football, but do you think there is a place in F1 for a format like AFTV? Yeah, I think there is, blood. I think there's a place for it in, in every kind of sport, blood, because the fans deserve to have their opinion. You understand? There's people that go to these races every race, blood. There's actually fans out there yeah. that will actually travel to every race, bro. They dedicate their self to that. And then, like, when... when, when 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 Efron go on their break, they go on their break with their go back to their family or spend time or whatnot. Blah, 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 and start following it again. So you could. It's just. It's just. Is 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 someone gonna do it, blood? Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. That that's the thing. Like we all want to see that cool content that you know we like. What we're, we're trying to create, what you're trying to create, the the, the alternative F1 content, hence the name of the podcast. But like. It is who's going to do it, and if they're going to get the access that you know those current journalists get, and like with AFTV, I, I don't know exactly how it started, but from the way I see it, you kind of did a guerrilla, and you went, no one's going to let us in, so we're just going to go and do it. Like I, I personally feel that that kind of needs to happen. The only problem is you can't get outside the stadium like you can, but like you can't get outside the race like you can at the stadium sometimes, not every single track anyway. So, yeah, I, I think it's, I agree. What, what I'll, I'll be, so I'll, interested. I'll, sorry, go on, go on, go on. I was going to say, what, what, I think this is where, you know, I'm kind of interested to see how Formula One kind of travels and navigates itself through this kind mm. of lockdown moment because, sure, if people aren't going to be at the races creating content as fans, 
and not having as much media presence here, then it makes stuff like this even more so important because it creates an added layer and extra voice to what Formula One has. Football is so lucky as a sport because it has so many dimensions. Mm. Fans having their opinions, your fan channels, you've got your pundits, your former ballers doing their thing, everyone on Twitter and Instagram doing their thing. So Formula One needs it 100%. And I feel like if, you know, we can get, if, if we've got to do Zoom calls and keep, keep on this way, then more power to us, I hope. Yeah, I, and, and what, I'd, what I'd say is, is you know, from, from our personal experience, and I'm sure the Matt would agree as well, you know, since Liberty Media has actually taken over, then they've actually shown a, a, a real big interest in getting more people from different backgrounds involved, because obviously American-owned. And, um, you know, that's why, you know, they've given us so much access and we've met so many racing drivers it's ridiculous, which is, which is, I never thought in my life I'd actually get to a real F1 driver. Um, so I'd, I'd, I'd say what we have to do, all do collectively is just keep on doing what we're doing. Troops, you carry on doing what you're doing, you know, when it comes to the, uh, you know, watch alongs. And then obviously we, we, we all team up like, uh, like, like uh, the Avengers. And then we, we <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then uh, we, we all, I, I'm, I'm very sure that we're going to be able to keep on giving people you know, a, a new perspective of, of the sport and then also bring in new people to think, oh, you know what? Those guys like it. You know, Andre's cool. I want to be like him. And, uh, you know, I'm going <laughs> to... No, I'm browsing. <laughs> Are you sure? Don't, right. be on, don't be a drone. All right, all right. Troop, troops is cool. And, you know, <laughs> nah, right. blood, you're all cool, man. <laughs> we're trying, we're trying. You're we're trying, trying, man. I'm trying. How do you think, how do you think, as, as we draw to a close, how do you think, obviously, like, we're, we're getting close to getting Premier League back. We've had Bundesliga back. How do you feel, in comparison, that, like, F1 and Premier League have dealt with, you know, dealt with, you know, COVID-19, trying to deal with this lockdown, trying to get it restarted? We're saying thumbs up, thumbs down, sort of in the middle? I think, I think, I think, I think football acted quickly. I think F1 kind of tiptoed. They was kind of like... Need to do it. Gonna let it. They was going to let the Australian team mm. run. Then one man caught it. And the next man caught it. And the next man caught it. And the next thing is locked. You understand? Like, Lewis was saying that he... Lewis was saying when he got there, why am I here? Why are we here? Football's not going on in England. Football's been locked off around the whole world. This is the only sport that's going on now. Why are we, why, why are we being used as guinea pigs, basically? Mm. You understand? Like, and I think obviously I understand though because there's a lot of money that goes into it. You understand? So much. So, so much. Of, so a lot of the decisions was money. Yeah, get me. It was down to money. Mm. So I think that's why they tried to go ahead with it. But then when the team member got it, that's when they were like, nah, 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 nah. Yeah. It's, it's, this is getting too mad now. And then they. And, and, and apparently it's, 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 sorry to cut you, but it's uh, apparently one of the, the, uh, the, the rumors were around was like, uh, Mercedes was like, listen, um, you know, to the other people that they supply engines to, if uh, we're not doing it, and if you want our engines next year or the year after, then you're going to be signing alongside us as well. So, you know, there's a lot of power play mm -hmm. that went on there as well. But I, I truly believe that, I think, you know, Sam, you could tell me if I'm wrong, but I think it was like Red Bull actually wanted to do it. I think um, yeah. they're, they're... Yeah, they did. They did. Yeah, they did. But then, like, as you say, there's a lot of power play because then, what, four weeks later, there were seven teams that went against Ferrari with their engines and the only people that weren't were Alfa Romeo and Haas. So, like, it, it was a very... The start of the season, if I'm... Like, troops, you nodded in the head, so I'm glad someone agrees. But there has been, like... It's been very political at the start of the season, which I think lockdown, they, you know... They did what they could after Melbourne went out. They've had to cancel as many races as possible. I agree. It was tiptoed. They should have been a hard line call on it. I, I think that's the way we should have gone. But at the start of the season, there's been so many political games being played by Ferrari, the FIA, like the Formula One itself. I think it's been a bit of a strange start. I mean, it's good for us, though, because we get to see new news and we get to see incredible driver shifts like well, oh. even Ferrari. Honestly, well, I mean, this is, this is, this is one of the things that... I live and die for. So this is our, our this is our equivalent of uh, for the Premier League for transfer window, and because of the um, the driver changes happen so quickly, then literally it's like there's a chain. There's literally a chain effect on on the other teams. So we've got Carlos. Uh, you know, obviously we've got Vettel out. Who, who um, we we'll, would we'll discuss whether he's um, he jumped or he was pushed. Um, Carlos Sands in Sands because he actually told me he keeps on telling me off. Every time that I'm, it's Carlos Sainz. 
It's so, so yeah, but I have to say, Sans, if you guys look back at the interview, you'll see how he shouted it in my ear. Uh, Dan, uh, Danny Ric- Ricardo to McLaren to replace Carlos. Um, and then there's a big open space for Renault. Tell me, troops, how exciting was that? I was like, raw. Vettel's gone. <laughs> I said, yeah. whoa, they finally got the broomstick out and said, move. <laughs> move. You know, you know the clock was probably there like, get out of here! Get out of here! You don't belong here no more! This is my territory! You go wherever the fuck you want! You don't belong here! You understand? I'm telling you, bro. Are you mad? He had oh. blood. Once the clock went there, Vettel was on ropes, blood. Vettel was on ropes, bro. Vettel was like... <laughs> Outstanding. I reckon, I reckon part of like Leclerc's new contract that he signed for 2024 is Vettel's got to be gone. <laughs> no, I'm telling you. He said, you fuckers want me? He needs to go. He needs to go. We had a really you know nice podcast. You know the, you know the there mafia. You know the mafia. <laughs> you, know the, you know the mafia looking done. What's his name? The big boss. He come like, hey, uh... Oh, uh, Matteo. Uh, Matteo Bonotto. <laughs> you, are you doing back. Matteo? You can't do that. <laughs> hey, uh, Sebastian. Uh, he, 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 he doesn't uh, move his shoulders like that. Turn his back. Turn his With nothing. Uh, <laughs> you, you know the Italians love to move their hands. You win nothing. Uh, oh, my that. God. So what, I, so what I'm excited about is this, is that um, I thought that Carlos was... was incredibly fast i don't think that he he's going to go there as some backup driver like like some of this press because i think that the mentality like just like football where it used to be 442 and they used to be, everyone used to play 442 when 433 came in or 352 came in this is a different formation just in case you don't know <laughs> um uh, then then the press were going especially the british press were going absolutely mad because they're like wait a minute this is this is not what we used to brain explode now, I think that we're in the stage now, and this is where Lewis Hamilton actually started this off. This was kind of disappointed. This is my personal thing. Kind of disappointed with him and Rosberg, how he, it, it seemed like he, he didn't relish the challenge of, of a number one driver, two number one drivers. It seemed like he was, his nose was put out of place because um, you know, uh, Rosberg was doing so well. Leclerc came in. And, you know, he was supposed to, in theory, be the youngster learning his ropes. He was like, nah, I'm not having any of that. I'm good enough now. I like, and I don't know if you guys agree, when there's two number one drivers. That's why I'm pushing for Vettel, fingers crossed, to be able to move to the number one, uh, uh, co-number one seat at, at Mercedes without Lewis blocking him in any form of way. So because Bot- I think that that would be good for the sport. Where's Bottas going? Who okay. cares? Renault. He wouldn't downgrade that low. I think, uh, to be, let's be honest though, he's not going to win a championship because he's he needs to stay in the sport for two more years. He's boring. Yeah. Sorry, he's boring. Yeah. I'd rather have Hulkenberg back. I, I, I like boring. I like Bottas, but you know, like- you guys know, I'm a massive Hulk fan. I love Hulk. I think he's a great driver, and I really, really, really want to see him win a podium. Like that's so. If he can come back to Renault. I feel like it's a great opportunity. We need more teams. That's what we need. There's we a lot, there's there's a lot of drivers. Well, remember, there's Aston Martin uh, uh, as yeah, well. But, yeah, but they're staying. The set is racing point in it, so we're not getting any more teams. But I did read a rumor that there was potentially a new team coming in. Yeah, but whoever that team is, it's going to take ages to be able to. I just think that that you know, we've got the money. <laughs> we 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 all tune in. Obviously, I've learned, and I don't know if with with uh, you know you had the same outlook because when I started to watch. Um, the uh, Drive to Survive series because of I, f- I found it boring at some point because it was like, oh, okay, the same people keep on winning. Then Drive to Survive taught me to be able to look out for the for the mid- mid-range team, middle teams and the smaller teams. I, I just think personally that it's good for the sport for there to be several number one drivers, you know, where everyone's like gunning for each other. You know, obviously the teams are going to work together, but and I don't think it has to turn nasty, but I just think that it would be good for the sport for there not to be this number one driver, backup driver thing. Do, do you see my point? I don't know if you, if you guys agree. Yeah. I, I don't think, I think with Hamilton though, I, I don't think Hamilton cares. I don't think he cares because I just think that he knows that he'll win and then he'll just show, man, I'm number one. Man. You understand? I don't really think, because with the, with the Rosberg situation, 
Rosberg was at Mercedes before Hamilton. Yeah. Understand? Hamilton came in and took the shine. You get yeah. me? It's 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 exactly like Leclerc and Vettel. Vettel was there, and then Leclerc's coming. Boop, Vettel's gone. You understand? Mm. Thing, but 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 Vettel's jumping ship. He's not leaving and going. He's not retiring that Rosberg. Rosberg retired too early because Rosberg knew deep down that's the only world title he was going to win. Mm. You understand? He worked like it. I think there's certain drivers who want to be a number one. Like I think Vettel has to be a number one. Vettel's a driver where he's like in his contract, he's got to be number one. But then that's what I worry that. Do you feel that those days have gone now? Because obviously people Ferrari look like that they've accepted the you know the the way that the new world works, and they actually they've become like leaders of the new school now because obviously they've got two fairly young drivers. Do you not feel that those days are kind of gone, and that's the only thing that's going to hold back Vettel because it's like you can't. Maybe in Renault, could, he could have a second driver because with Ocon, he's not going to challenge him. But if you're going to be in one of the top teams, and I'd even put McLaren in that, there's two drivers that are taking care of equally the same. But he should relish the competition. But he doesn't. He just feels like... I think he feels because he's won four that he deserves to be number one. He's kind of mm. he's kind of got that same Alonso attitude. You see, You see similarities between the both. You understand? You see it between the both, like, with, with like, Ricardo, you get me? When Max came in, he, he still fought. He never gave up. He fought. He left because he said, I want a new opportunity. You understand? I don't think Ricardo was running away from competition. I think it was a complete different move. He wanted a change. He was in Renault, Red Bull for a lot. He was, he was a Red Bull for a long time. Now he's with the actual, get me? So, with, mm. like, other people, I think, like, like Verstappen's another one. I don't think Verstappen will feel like he has to be a number one driver. I think his quality will just shine. And then the team will make their own decision and say mm. that, yo, you know what? You're number one because you're doing your thing. So we're yeah, going to yeah. have to invest that little bit more in you because you're actually getting results. But, but I, I, think that, I think that Verstappen doesn't actually, I, being honest, I just don't think he actually cares. Because yeah, he, he, had Rico- he had Ricardo with him, who's very fast. Yeah, and I did, just don't yeah. think he actually cared. Where I think that what I find, and I wouldn't be able to support um, the driver that does that. Any driver that's like, I nah, don't really want another one, another one to challenge me. I find that weak source, yeah. and and you know, it, it's maybe maybe because of obviously with football things have changed. Like there's not just one striker, you know, um, and there's you know there's no um, there's different formations and all these different things. I think that the sport has to 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 move forward to be able to get new people like yourself and myself and so forth. And I, I think it'll be better for it. Well, we'll see if if um if your boy lets uh, Vettel join, and then uh. How <laughs> no care, fam? How I no care, blood? You'll bring it. You know what they say, blood? Keep your enemies closer. You get me? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer, blood. So you just keep him right, yes, or blood. And you just keep him. You just deal with him like Rosberg and Bottas, blood. You just boop 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 boop, and you just rock him to sleep every night, fam. When he shut up, whoop whoop whoop, shut up. Please let this happen, please, because I, it'll be good for I'm the sport. We'll ross him up, blood, and I'll enjoy every race, fan. We're going to have you back on as soon as it's confirmed that the, the where, where Vettel's going. If it ain't Mercedes, you're going to come back on you and you're going to have to explain it. Hamilton would probably be like, "Yeah, bring him. I love the competition. It'll make me up." It'll be good. It'll be good because I actually get on as well. Yeah, Vettel will be the one to bottle. He can't handle pressure, blood. He's not the, He's not Vettel when he was at Red Bull, blood. Since he went Ferrari, it's like, you understand? The fairy godmother was at, was at Red Bull, blood. She didn't follow him to Ferrari, but <laughs> sprinkled the dust on the car, blood. You understand? He's just there, just, you understand? Spinning like a man. <laughs> there, moving, like Kylie, moving like Kylie Minogue, fam. Just spinning around, blood. You understand? What's wrong with my man, blood? We're gonna we're gonna get we're we're gonna carry on with this. So this is gonna go on all season. Troops, tell people how, how to find you. Give them your social details. You know, for the, for those who who are now new fans of yours because of us. Troops AFC on Twitter and um, Insta. Troops with a Z. Um, troops one eight seven on Snapchat and Troops TV is the YouTube channel. Yeah. Look how smooth he does it. Like he's, he does it smooth. Now, when the I tried to do it, it's I yeah, I know. I'm gonna get repl- I'm gonna get replaced. This seat will be changed as well, <laughs> just, just just like Vettel's. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, check out our, all of our content on Alternative uh, uh, TV. 
What's the matter with me? See, I've done it again. Alternative TV, that's our new thing. You're that's alternative TV. Us. You know what is it? No, no, we've given away our secrets now. <laughs> now, we'll put all of our social details, um, you know, there for you guys to be able to follow. Appreciate all of you guys listening to us on Spotify, Deezer, so forth. And uh, we're going to make sure that we get troops back because uh, we're following him. We're going to keep on commenting all the time in separate, separate letters all the time to make sure I get his attention on, on, uh, on Insta. <laughs> um, because, you know, we, we, we love what you do. We love the fact that you're, 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 you know, really getting new people to be able to get into the world of F1 because it's such a great sport and uh, we want to make sure it's diverse as possible. So we appreciate what you do, bro. Nah, I appreciate you lot, fam. You understand? You, you lot keep me entertained, though. But I need that plug, yeah? Because I'm not saying he's in hospitality with Hamilton. Are you fucking mad, blood? You got a boss, man. Exactly. Oh, not he after what I've just been saying. I'm coming here with a fresh trim as well. Don't worry, but I come in there looking quarantined. You understand? Well, after what you just said about his hairstyles, uh, you know, we've got a work cut out for us there. I'll tell you. Man, man, he's gang, blood. Just tell him my second name's Hamilton, blood. He'll think we're cousins. <laughs> guys, appreciate you listening to us. We're going to get truth back on. I appreciate that. You know, everything you guys do, keep looking out. Peace. <laughs>